Are you ready to go, Emily? We're good? All right. Hello. I am ready. Anybody? That, this was fun. Thanks. Well, you know, we're all disappointed we didn't get to what we wanted and uh, we didn't get ourselves in a position to have a chance at the end. Uh, we expect to have a chance. We expect to be there at the end. And so um, it, it's hard to pick out bright spots when you're not where you want to be. And uh, you know, ultimately, we want to make the playoffs, put ourselves in a position uh, to, to win uh, it all. And we believe that we're a team that can win it all. And um, so the expectations are high. So it's hard to pull out uh, a lot of bright spots when uh, they're not met. Um, the question's on the whiteout room and what makes it the best in the NFL? Uh, clearly the best personnel department, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, uh, we have guys that uh, love the game and uh, they gel with our quarterback and, uh, and uh, they're unselfish. They compete. Uh, they're, uh, they're, they're in it for each other as much as they are for themselves, which is good. Uh, they believe in what, what Zach's doing with them. Uh, there's a positive energy in practice. They prepare really well, uh, and they just gel with, well as a group. They've come up together, and uh, and so it's uh, it's been fun to watch. Uh, you know, our quarterback drives a lot of the camaraderie, and and the players are just uh, the ones that we brought in are naturally competitive, and they love being around each other. So the questions on the salary cap and having our quarterback under a, a great big deal. Yeah, he's under a great big deal. Well, it puts constraints on you. Um, you you've got to be really judicious with your money. Uh, you've got to determine uh, what's needed and, uh, and, and what's just wanted. Um, it, uh, it, it's like I've said before, it's, it's, a, it's a finite pie and we slice it up a lot of different ways. We want to keep as many good players as we can, but there's always hard decisions to make uh, as, you, as you go through uh, roster building. We're just starting the roster building, so I won't be uh, breaking any news with any of our players or players that will be uh, looking possibly to sign, but um, you know, it's, it's, we're just starting the process. But we have flexibility. Katie does a tremendous job of, of getting us in position to be competitive every season. And, uh, and we're right there again, we're competitive uh, and we have, uh, we have resources to uh, go out and compete. The other questions on Joe's wrist and how critical. Well, it's really critical. <laughs> and uh, and uh, as far as I know, it's going really well. He's been around the building uh, a lot, rehabbing. Uh, he's Joe, so you know that 100% effort is going to go into it. He's focused on it. Um, all the reports that we've gotten have been very positive. So we, we expect a full recovery, and we expect him to continue uh, being Joe. Yeah. Yeah, the questions on Jake Browning and you're right. He he did come in and uh and really blossom and uh and give us the opportunity to win. And uh, that's what you want, especially when you're working with your backup quarterback. You want somebody that can come in and give you the opportunity to win. And he did more than that. And we were really impressed with the way that he attacked uh, his role and, and his leadership when it when it came down to him being the guy. You could tell he's been in that role before and he was comfortable in that role. And, uh, and we were really impressed with uh, a lot of the things that he did. In, in terms of keeping him, we planned for him to be uh, with us, yes. T Higgins so the questions on T and the franchise yeah it's really simple um, it's uh, you know he's a good player we want to keep him and uh, we have resources to do that so we decided uh, early to do it and uh, and that's where we are we like T we're a better team with T so uh, 
uh, you know, with, with uh, the way that we've managed our cap, we had the ability to uh, to uh, put the franchise tag on them, and and we did. Yeah, the questions on the offensive line and how we overhauled it, and what's uh, what's uh, what are the key elements of that? You know, finding the right guys. Uh, the offensive line is always a work in progress. There's 32 teams with an offensive line that's a work in progress. You're always looking for a group that competes well together. Um, you never know how they're going to gel when when you put them together. It's uh, how they gel after they're together, and so there's. Uh, uh, you want guys that love football. Uh, you want guys that are highly motivated, uh, unselfish, uh, prepare uh, like uh, like like it, it means a lot to them. They're in the building. They like hanging out with each other. Uh, they're tough. Uh, they're smart. They're not making a repeated error. Um, you can't have a, 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 an inconsistent offensive lineman is an offensive lineman that will be short term. You have to be consistent in that area. And it's five guys playing as one. And so you're always looking for a new piece to bring in, but you never know exactly how that's going to fit until he's in with the other four guys and playing and does it gel and does it work. Mm-hmm. The question for everyone is, uh, do I have a message about T. Higgins this year? And uh, the message is we really like T and we're a better team with T. Uh, in terms of our intentions going forward and answering hypotheticals of what could and couldn't come about, you know, I, I won't get into that. Um, but uh, we feel like we're a better team with him. The reason we franchised him is because we would like to have him. He's not under contract, and it's hard for me to predict all the different scenarios that could happen. But, uh, you know, we feel strongly about T. Higgins and his fit with us. Um, it's always a priority, you know, when you think about premier type players and, and how long you want them. Um, we work within the confines of the CBA like every other team does. And um, uh, sometimes things come together on a long term basis. Sometimes they don't. Um, so we use the resources we have. But we're always thinking about the future of players and who's coming up and, and who all we want to have long term relationships with. And uh uh, it's a it's a never ending puzzle, you know, just when you put put a piece in, somebody reaches over and takes a piece out. And so uh, and so we're trying to fit more pieces in than they're taken out. What you learn, you know, about Miles Murphy from this time last year and you spent a full year with him. What did you learn about him as a person? Yeah, the questions on Miles Murphy and, and you're right, he, he, he has grown a lot since he's been with us. I think he's starting to really. Uh, feel uh, what the NFL is all about and uh, the speed of the game. And I really was uh, excited about his progression in the second half of the season and a lot of the things that he started to show. Uh, it's a transition. When you're playing in the trenches in the NFL, it's a transition. You know, you're a uh, 22, 23, 21, 24 year old guy playing against 30 year old guys that have been playing for eight, nine years. That's a big jump. It's not like uh, being a freshman playing against a junior. You know, it's, it's a big jump, and, and it's a man's game on the line of scrimmage. And, and so there's a process that, uh, that goes along with that. But really, I, I'm really impressed with the, the progression that Miles made, and we've got uh, big plans for him going forward. Yeah, the question's on Cali. Uh, and what type of coach they're getting. They're, they're getting a good coach, and we're losing a good coach. Uh, they're getting a guy that is 100% ready for the job. Uh, Brian has uh, the exact personality that you want in that position. Uh, he's super bright. Uh, he's a people person. He relates well to players, to staff, uh, to everyone in the building. He's grown up around football. He's got a tremendous amount of great ideas and thoughts. Um, he, he's got the right demeanor and personality. And uh, so 
it's a great hire for them and it's a big loss for us. You know, we, we uh, really enjoyed our time with Brian. I knew he was uh, ready. I, I knew he had, uh, you know, it was just a matter of another team identifying that and, and they did and uh, we're really happy for him. Mm -hmm. The questions on cognitive tests and the fact that they're not doing that anymore. Cog the, the term cognitive test is a sliding scale. There's, there's ones that have been going on for a long time, and then there's independent people that have been doing things more recently. Um, uh, we don't believe in a lot of that. We, we, we put the resources in our own people to determine, you know, how and uh, how well somebody will transition into our game. Uh, there's, there's no magic bullet and, and there's no better mousetrap. The mouse still escapes sometime. Uh, you know, you can spend a lot of, a lot of time on cognitive tests and you can spend a lot of time researching the guy's background on your own. And the results, in my opinion, are pretty similar and, uh, and, so it, it, the fact that they've announced that they're not going to do cognitive tests, you know, from a Cincinnati Bengals perspective, uh, it hasn't really affected us much. Duke, there's a lot of people, you know, asking questions about Sam Hubbard's future with the Bengals. How would you evaluate, you know, his skill set for the Bengals this upcoming? Yeah, the questions on Sam Hubbard and his skill set, and you know, I've always been a huge. Uh, believer in Sam, you know, Sam was one of the easiest draft picks we've had, you know, grew up in Cincinnati, was available to us, came right in and, uh, and produced for us. He's really versatile. He brings other people along and, uh, in, and really what he did at the end of the year, playing through a dramatic injury that he ended up after the season had having to have surgery on was, uh, just a testament to his toughness and grit and the fact that he could be out there helping us try to get to the playoffs. That's what Sam Hubbard is all about. Um, I, he's still, uh, got a lot of life in his career, in my opinion. Uh, when he doesn't have that injury, I think, I, I think he's better. I think he'll tell you that, but he was pretty good with the injury. Uh, he's one of the best runs, run stop. He's one of the best run-stopping uh, defensive ends in the NFL. Yeah, the questions on Joe Mixon and his role going forward. I, I can tell you his role this past year was good. He had a really good season for him, uh, for us. I was proud of him, over 1,000 yards and, you know, double-digit touchdowns and, you know, was a big factor for us. Uh, in, in terms of predicting anybody's role going forward. I'm not going to do that up here on the on the podium. Uh, those are roster building strategies and those are those are things that we're talking through as this whole thing uh, unfolds with every player on our roster. Not it's not specific to to just one. Really proud of Joe and the season he had and he uh, he, he did a lot of things to help us uh, get uh, into a point where we had a chance. And you know, we didn't get over the hump but but he put us in a position to have a chance. Yeah, the questions on the young receivers we drafted last year and uh, excited about them. You know, I think they each got got a pretty good taste, got got some live action opportunities. I uh, figured out what the NFL is all about, showed uh, some really high end stuff uh, that we can build on. They're both made of the right stuff. They want to be good. They've seen what it takes to be good with our other receivers. Uh, they'll continue to take on bigger roles. Um, but I love, you know, from Andre's standpoint, I love his size. I love his speed. He's an athletic guy. He's smart. Uh, Charlie gives great versatility, you know, gave us a, a real good punt return option and uh, did some really good things there. And he'll continue to fit into the, uh, the offense as we go forward. So really excited about both of those, those young guys. So the questions on the tight end uh, revolving door, is that what you said? Uh, yeah, there's, there has been a revolving door. That's not what we're looking for. Um, it's what's been presented to us in our estimation uh, as the best way forward. We'll uh, continue to evaluate that, but we want guys like every other team wants guys. We want guys that can uh, block. We want guys that can catch. 
Uh, if they can do both, uh, that's a bonus. Uh, we want a good mix of different abilities in the group. Um, we want uh, somebody that uh, that gels with our quarterback. You know, that does the things that our our quarterback wants to do, which is which is important. You know, there are a lot of different styles of these. It's probably the one position with the with the most different set of abilities throughout the whole league throughout each individual you know you could offensive tackles or offensive tackles the longer the better the bigger the better the tougher the better but tight ends are different there's blocking guys there's receiving guys there's guys that do a little bit of both there's guys that play on special teams so we're trying to find a good mix of uh, of different guys and we'll continue working through that and uh, we'll see what we can get done it's an important position for us Questions on DJ Reader and uh, and how are we handling that with the injury? Uh, shame he got hurt. You know he's a big piece of our defense. He's a big piece of our leadership core. Uh, a big piece of what made us a, a really good defense in past years. He he kind of keeps the whole unit together. Uh, so yeah, are we talking to him? We are talking to him. Uh, he's in the building every day. You know rehabbing, trying to get uh, trying to get himself in position to uh, to have another successful season. He's been through this injury before on the other side, so we think he's going to uh, you know get through it and be uh, be just fine. But we're we're talking to him like we are a lot of our UFAs and seeing if there's uh, an opportunity to get him signed back. Does that do it? Thanks everybody. Thanks guys.